Oh well. I did up a BM combo. Okay, so it looks like we're going into it. Um, I'm pretty sure Taku's gonna go with his general game plan. He plays like he plays really defensively. He's usually on the ledge, charging up his shadow ball, uh, which as you can see him doing. Um, and I feel that what Lift is really gonna want to do is he's gonna want to stay in Mewtwo's face as much as he can. And you yep. see you see what Hitaku's doing with uh, yeah, Mewtwo like, is very very good at spacing. Loves baiting an approach. Yes, he he is. But the downside kind of is that um, whenever Mewtwo does like say back air or up air, it extends his hurt box because his tail is swinging. Sure. Uh, so like if we he, haven't seen that burn Hitaku yet. Well, no, What's we have doing up on the platform. This is backwards. KO punch in play, but misses Hitaku, who's quick. Mewtwo air dodge comes in handy in his spacing is mm -hmm. on point. Mewtwo possibly has one of the best air dodges in the game, considering next to can... Bayonetta. Uh, uh, new addition with the bat within. Very nice down tilt up top. Oh, oh, nice. Hitaku just he, he somehow waited. felt that counter. Like very, very impressed. Anyway, now I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that it's because he understand he plays against Lift a lot. He understands that's true. These players are habits. very familiar with each other. So considering that he had such a powerful move coming down, I know that Lift yeah. never likes getting hit. So it was kind of um, ooh, very beautiful. I believe that it was it kind wasn't of a spike. Yeah, that's it. That's fine. A lot I believe of that it was pressure. kind of expected that Lift would come down with a counter. That was very impressive, Itaku putting the offstage pressure to close out that second stop. Real fast. This is this is probably the most like that game was probably one of the most aggressive games that I've seen Hitaku play. I know. To be honest, time. I expected us to see three minutes of sitting on Dreamland's top platform, and that didn't happen. Yeah. So L we can get Lift that. knows how to deal you. with that really well, though. If you saw his match against Ilink earlier. Sure. Um, he was doing upbees, but he was fading down before he was able to get punished. Let's play on the custom stage. No. That's a good idea. No, it's a really good idea. Yeah. Let's play on a tournament legal stage. Yeah, let's. let's do Where that. do you think we're going? Um, knowing Lyft, I know that he likes going to town and city. Um, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure that Hitaku is likely gonna ban that. Sure. Um, but that I leaves the Omega in. Well, yes, that leaves Omega as an option. But in my personal opinion, um, FD. Isn't FD is a really good stage for Mac? That's what I expect. I don't feel it is actually his best stage overall. Remarkable. Which would it be? Um, I'd say Town and City is actually might be his best stage simply because it turns into FD, and you also have the platforms to aid your recovery. So I'm pretty sure that knowing how smart Hitaku is, he's likely banned Town and City. Mm -hmm. Um, going to lie that. I'm not really surprised. Lilat has really short platforms, which is nice. At least little like little match up smash can apply a lot of pressure on those. Absolutely. Yeah. Seeing Hitaku fall with his classic shadow ball right away. Hitaku, Ooh, I'm pretty sure, just spends like hours and hours on end just constantly studying this character. Every one of them. My goodness. His knowledge of this game is impressive. Oh. Definitely. Oh, seeing him go for the offstage pressure, but Lyft getting back. Quite yet. That Ooh, he's gonna feel tomorrow morning. Damn. That left a bruise. Taku's taking this pretty convincingly, but considering it's a little mag, a little mag is never really losing, but the never come really back winning. kid show us lift, make it happen. Essentially, yes. Ooh. Uh, but yeah, lift is having a hard time finding a way in. Taku has kept the pace of the match really fast. He's not really given us time to even think or relax. He's following what Lyft is doing a lot. He's being yeah, he's this is... being really efficient in how he's juggling Lyft. And I feel that at this point, Lyft is gonna be forced to use it to like burn out his tail punch if he wants to like get any kind of control of this match. Because at this point, Itaku has all of the momentum, he has all the control. And well, there's a tail I... punch. We did see him using F Smash to pressure the platform, it didn't connect. Ooh. He's back with Haymaker, no problem. Almost connected the grab after the Shadow Ball. Not quite. Lift showing off how good the Max Aerials are. Forwarder is actually not too bad. It's oh, useful in combo situations, absolutely, as he just demonstrated. It's usually a majority of Little Oh, Mac. Little Mac, or sorry, rather, Hitaka putting on incredible shield pressure following with the dash attack. Uh, Lift could have just sat there and tried to perfect shield it instead. 
instead of just like Yes, perfect shielding the Shadow Ball is really important in this yeah. matchup, the way that Hitaku will play with it. Um, Hitaku Ooh. using his side B to kind of maneuver and stall off stage. Uh, wait, are you doing? Here comes another edge guard situation. Super armor protects lift while he throws a down smash that doesn't connect. Back throw will KO. It's 0 141, one stock on lift. All, all that Hitaku needs is, is one two. grab. If Hitaku, like, gets any rage and then he gets a single grab on. Uh, Shadow Claw will do the trick. That'll yes, do the Shadow trick. Shadow Claw works. Uh, I believe Shadow Claw comes out on Shadow Claw. Well. Yeah. That's game two for Hitaku. Yeah, Hitaku. Really running away with this. I yeah, feel absolutely. that he's kind of a. I'm pretty sure that he, I know that he does. He hates his matchup probably as much as I do. <laughs> so, um, I believe that he's probably practiced this a lot, a lot, Three, like studied it, two, and probably collaborated one, and getting, and getting um, information from that. Shadow uh, other grab. Me two players. Uh, grab right out of the air, and he's holding it for a grab release. He's lived Interesting. Is... Probably one of the best players that I know in that is able to conserve his jump. Like, sure, we've seen him do that a number of times here on stream, actually. He, he and does it's that a lot. He's really, he's really good at it. Um, I usually feel like pretty decent at saving my double jump, but wow. I mean, I play Meta Knight now. Taku, just the down tilt didn't follow it. The empty hop backward. Taku just has so much flow with his character. Yes, and I love what he does with you two. Very close to that. Lift keeps on taking in place just about every time. Like every time that Hitaku has thrown in that Lift has missed attack. There is another little shadow claw um, to take Lift is tagged in place. Like, That's an interesting observation. We're gonna see if Hitaku goes ahead and capitalizes on it too. It's actually something that uh, the Masudas have brought up to me. And it's something I feel that Lift needs to work on. I had also told Lift earlier, he, he, he does a lot of the same get up from the ledge. Right now we're seeing Hitaku pressuring Lift from below. Lift is having a hard time getting back down to the main platform. Lift Lilat really working eight. against him. Hitaku showing that his up smash also can pressure the platform. Lift this is, is incredible. Just not able to deal with this. Hitaku if putting Lift... on incredible pressure. Oh, oh my goodness! My God. <laughs> The surprise confusion, it That's does disabled. happen. Disable, sorry, thank you. Okay. I gotta get my Pokemon up. Come on. Like, uh, like Itaku does. Goodness. You gotta be Pokemon Master. <laughs> That's three.